RJ and today's recipe is going to be fall crock pot stew. It is a family favorite around here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make and 30 minutes for less. I'm on my way out the door today and head to work and I want to show you how simple and easy this recipe is as well as great tasting. So follow me on this recipe on fall crock pot stew. Okay let's get started with the recipe. First of all we want to know about the equipment we're going to use and the ingredients we want to use. Now I'm using a four quart crock pot which according to the size of my family, I have six. This is plenty of, of crock pot to use for this recipe. I also have the crock pot which is going to be set on a low setting and for a minimum of six hours. So it's important to know if you have a crock pot with a timer, set it to six hours and it'll automatically go to a simmer setting after the six hours are up on the low temperature. Next off are the ingredients. six and I have chuck rose. So first off we're going to use a seasoning and this is my Montreal steak seasoning and I'm going to drizzle the Montreal steak seasoning on top of the meat just like this. I'm going to grab some of my Italian seasoning and I am going to do the same. And one thing you can do when you put your seasoning on is I like to do a little mashing on the seasoning into the meat. So just go ahead and rub your fingers into the meat and rub the seasoning into it. Okay? Now that I got my meat taken care of, care of the base stew. I'm going to take a container here and start my stew sauce, which is my two cans of French onion soup. told you that one thing that I like to sneak in there is I like to use a can of stewed tomatoes. I probably will take just about a half a cup of Worcestershire sauce. It just gives a nice tartness that I want to get with my stew I sauce. I want to use some of the Wondra. The Wondra thickens my stew and I want it more stew-like and less soup-like. And I'm going to say I put just about two tablespoons of Wondra into my stew. I'm now taking care of my stew. I've taken care of my meat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crock pot and as I said I'm going to line it with a napkin and olive oil and I'm going to take my olive oil and I'm just going to drop, whoops, just drop like that. I'm actually going to pick that. I'm going to take that napkin and I'm going to line it. Make sure that garlic is spread out all over my crock pot. Okay? Now finally, what I want to do is I'm going to take half a cup of the chopped now red onion. It's time to drop in my veggies. There is my celery, my carrots, and my potatoes. I use two potatoes, two stalks of celery, and a handful of carrots. My stew sauce without spilling on my work clothes on top of the concoction. Okay? Now that I have that, Take another two cups of water. Looks like. We've got all the vegetables in. We've done all this, uh, the stew sauce. We've got the meat in there. It's already seasoned. I'm going to put this in for six hours on a low temperature. And of course, when I come back from work, it'll already be cooked and it'll be on a simmer setting. On my way home to pick up kids, I'm going to grab a French baguette, French bread, uh, which is great with a little bit of butter. And I've got a great healthy meal. And I made this in less than 20 minutes waiting for me. So I hope and you enjoyed look this. at that. That is just all a mixture of all those vegetables we put in and the meat, and it looks great. I went ahead and bought a loaf of French bread, and I'm just going to quick give it a quick sample of how everything tastes. Hmm, that's good. <laughs> 